This is a shorter version of the earlier tutorial I made. Hinges are made from brass. You need two pieces to make one hinge. First you need to bend them like this. Then use a blunt chisel so you won't accidentally cut the piece. I cut out most of the pattern with metal shears. That one corner there is a bit tricky one, so I sorted it out. To join the pieces, first you have to remove those black areas. Sew it all the way down, and then twist it out with pliers. And there you have it. Just make 8 pieces and you're done. Attach the hinges from two points first, to get it straight. I used an exhaustion pipe here, but any round object will do. Notice that the parts overlap here, about one centimeter. To make it fit better, I'll bend the hinges too. Just keep the pin in place and bend carefully. I'm going to bend those edges later, but I made a few guidelines to help me see where to place the hinges. Bend these like you did the previous ones. Then I made guidelines on the other side too, and made few passes along the edge. I used a planishing hammer here to remove any dents, and to make it more sharp. As you see here, bending the edge makes it more sturdier too. I'll make the frame first from a steel rod. I heated it first, then hammered both ends flat. Then you can drill holes for the pin. I used a nail to make a tongue for the buckle. I made it round like this, but this is not necessary. Then twisted it like this, to make it look like a letter P.
place another nail through the holes and hammer it carefully. The buckle will also have a hinge. It's much more easier to make than the previous one. I used cutting oil here to prevent the brass from sticking to the plate like that. Then bend the parts like this, place a nail in the middle and tighten it. The brass is quite soft, so be careful here. After you place the buckle, tighten it again, then rivet it together. Historically, the leather straps had hinges too, but I took a little shortcut here. The placement for the buckles depends on the side of your steel parts. Just place them so that the back plates can overlap a little. Here's how the back plates are connected. This simple piece here will connect it to the lower armor. I can't really give the exact place for these. You have to try it on and figure it out. I use nylon straps here, since they are much cheaper than leather. They are placed in straight lines, like this. The gap between the holes in the middle strap is longer than in the side straps. I noticed that this way the plates will hang properly. Otherwise, they kind of sticked out and didn't look good. Start assembling it from the outermost one. I used roofing nails for it. Now find a good spot for the last two holes, just don't make it too tight. Here's how you connect the front and back plates. The straps don't have to be perfectly straight. Here's how the final piece will look like. The 
these are maybe the easiest part of the arm. Just bend it like this, then hammer it flat. I anneal the brass first, to make it softer. This will make it much more easier to roll. And there you have it. I've seen them roll it even more. You can try it out if you want. Normally all the blades are the same length but I made it tighter in the belly, so they get shorter downwards. These holes here are in a straight line. These are all 10 cm from the edges. Once you're done measuring, you can attach the lacing loops. You start assembling it from the bottom and moving up. To make it more comfortable to wear, you should bend this area of the topmost plate. This way it won't stick out against your arms. I didn't use this piece in the final build but it shows you how it's done. Historically, these were stamped out of thin brass but I would have need to make tools for it, so I improvised a little. I made it from two separate pieces. The top part is a simple dome with some decoration on it. Then I made a second piece. These will go under the first part. It still needs some filing, but that's how I did it. And that's about it. The front and the back plates are connected with these buckles and leather straps I showed you earlier. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.